Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I'm going to show you the easiest fountain to set up and you will bring all kinds of birds to it. You won't have to do anything. There's no cutting. There's no looking for tubes or straws or anything. All you'll need is a solar fountain kit and a certain one. And let me show you which one you need. And then we're going to go over how to get the hummingbirds to come take a bath and things you can maybe tweak or change if you don't have hummingbirds coming to the fountains that you made. Now, I went to the thrift store and I found this bowl. It was cheap. In fact, it was on sale. It cost me about $4. It's glass. It is a food cooking bowl. This is actually made by Anchor and it's very similar to the Corningware and Pyrex. So we know this is 100% food safe. Now, I don't like clear bowls. Let's start off with that because they yellow a lot of times or they get, if they're plastic, they'll yellow. And if they're clear, they get a lot of hard water buildup and there's nothing you can do but scrub it and it scratches up and never looks good. But you can use it and there's ways of fixing that too. But today we're gonna to talk about this bowl and how it's gonna be so easy. You may have something like this in your kitchen cabinet that you're not using. You got it for a gift or you just never used it. So this is a perfect bowl for that. Easy to clean, wash when you need to. Now the fountain you're going to need, the kit, they cost about $10. They could go as high as 20. If you catch them off season, they could be as, as low as nine. We're going to want the one with the solar panel on a wire because what we want is this pump. Now we won't need this. This is for floating and different things. This, they, they put in a lot of extra stuff in case you're putting it in a big pond or whatever. All we're going to need for this is what comes with it. So let's look inside and then we'll talk about how to make other birds come to it. You've got all these, you know what, let's put it in the bowl right now. So you've got all these doodads that come with it, all right? And these are sprayers. Now these flat sprayers, we don't want it. Not in a small bowl like that, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna not be there, the water's gonna spray out, and then you have no water left in your bird bath. Birds don't need the spray. So we're gonna put that back. Now this is another sprayer. It shoots straight up. You don't want that either, because if it tilts, it will shoot the water out. This is another sprayer. It's a small little one. It sprays straight up. Again, we don't want it. We could use that. Now this, let's see, this goes on here. That we could use. And if you want, you can use this part. This part will disperse the water and it will fill up in here. It's kind of like a bubbler, but it's not really because it still can work quite hard, but this is perfect. We're not gonna undo the cord right now. This is going to sit in your bowl. If you don't wanna use this, you could just use that. But let's go ahead, we've got it, let's put that on. Now this particular panel has the plastic on it. Some come with it and some don't. If you've got the plastic that they put on to protect the panel, go ahead and make sure you take it off. Because if you don't take it off and you put it out in the sun, then it could bake on and it could end up ruining your panel. So let's leave it on right now. Now all you're gonna have to do is go look around for rocks. You could get fancy and put glass stones in that you can get at the dollar stores. You could do that, or you could just go around your property, go take a hike and look for beautiful rocks. And you're going to build this up with quite a few rocks. Now, I'm gonna put more in here when I'm ready to set it up. Obviously today, we've been cloudy for days. I won't be setting up anything right now. Now keep in mind that anything you're putting in here is so the birds can get a good footing on there. And rocks, though they may feel real smooth like glass, they're not quite that smooth and hummingbirds can stand on here. So that's the thing, because here they still can. It's a little slippery. You could take a glue gun and with hot glue go all the way around and that creates a perch. The other thing we could do is go out into the garden, find some branches off of a tree that's non-toxic pretty much any tree, fruit trees. I can't even think of anything you can't use. I wouldn't use oleander or anything like that. But find a nice branch and you could lay it in here. We can set it up any way we want and it gives a place for the birds to come land. Don't set it up where the water is gonna run on it and then drip off the bowl. So you wanna make sure you inspect it before you walk away. 
But let me tell you something. This is all you have to do. I have one like this set up in my garden and I have had every bird that comes go to that fountain. They absolutely love it. It's their favorite. They can stand on the edge. They can get inside and take a bath. They can drink. They can do whatever they want. I have everybody drinking out of this. The scrub jays. I've got all kinds of warblers coming in. All the little bush tits and, and goldfinches and house finches. Everybody uses it. Let me explain something right now. This is very important. Some of you are going to sit back and say, well, there's no hummingbirds right now. They left if it's that time of the year. You may have hummingbirds, but let's say it's not. Let's say it's the time of the year where they left and now they won't come back until spring. Here's the thing. I am sure your hummingbirds may have left, but I am positive that you've got some sort of birds there, whether it's house finches, English sparrows, or whatever you've got, woodpeckers, you've got some sort of bird that winter at your property. And what you want them to do is find a water fountain. Now, during the winter, it's really cold. You may have a day like today all the time. You may not even want to set this up. You could just fill this up with rocks, fill it up with water and keep water in here. Now, why would you want to put a bowl of water out? Though it's kind of rainy or wet, they may not come to your bowl because they've got water everywhere else, right? Here's the thing. If you wait until the hummingbirds come and then set up the fountain, there's a good chance that you won't have the hummingbirds come dive into it and take a bath. I have thousands of hummingbirds that live on the property all year round. They forage around here, they bathe and they drink. So they watch me, they trust me. And when I put something out, they come to inspect it. They look around, they're very curious and they go in there and take a bath or drink. If you don't have that many hummingbirds, they're coming in your area, they don't know you in the beginning, and you put this thing out, you might as well put a cardboard box with water out. They don't know what it is. They're not gonna go to this. They've got something next door that they know or something down the block or, or across the hill a mile away that they can go over there and get water. So the secret to that is for you, you put it out now, even if you have no hummingbirds. Because what's gonna happen is if you're not running the fountain or you are running the fountain, birds do need water. So if you've got house finches, woodpeckers, all kinds of scrub jays or blue jays or cardinals, they're going, they're braver. They're bigger and they're braver. They're going to inspect it, check it out and go, oh, fresh water. They're very smart birds and they will come drink. Now, as this sits out all fall, let's say, and all winter, these birds will continue to come to this simple little bowl with rocks. But what's happening is they're so used to this that every time you take it, wash it and put it back, they love fresh water. They'll come dive bomb it. And guess what happens? Come spring, the hummingbirds are coming in. They're flying around, you're putting out feeders. They remember you did, let's say, and they're gonna come to your house. They're seeing feeders around. And when they come down, they see this. They don't know what it is, but they watch. They're very intelligent birds. And then they see a blue jay or a cardinal or a house finch or some sort of songbird come and take a drink. So they're gonna come by and they're gonna see all these birds now periodically coming to get a drink or take a bath. You've already trained your hummingbirds that this is safe. This is how one bird learns from another. Different species learn from other species of birds. So you will be ahead of the game and you could start making more fountains as the birds come back, the hummingbirds, and they'll come to take a bath because they see the other birds coming. So you want to train other birds to come to your bowl. And this is the easiest, fastest way to do it by a simple bowl with some rocks, maybe some branches stuck in there. And if the branches go bad, throw them away and get another branch and get the birds, your other birds, to take a bath or come get a drink. Then you'll be all set for spring. When the hummingbirds start coming back, the first thing they do is see all the other birds coming in here to take a drink, and they'll be in here in a matter of days, not weeks, days, because this will be a safe haven for them to catch that water that they need or a quick bath. You have to set it up for hummingbirds to take a bath. They can't come to the edge and dive in. Though they can swim, 
Some of them can dive in the water and jump up or fly up and dry their feathers that way. You wanna make sure you have something for them to land on. So something as simple as a big rock positioned in a way that is up close to the water and you can do this with your rocks that they can land on this rock and catch the water flowing. Think like a bird when you're setting them up. Think like how would they take a bath. Look at the videos I put up on how they come and they scrub. They love some place like this where they can scrub their face because they get nectar and pollen all over them and that has to come off and this is how they get it off. So get your fountains or bird bath set up now. Get it ready before the hummingbirds come back if they're gone already. And if they're there, and if it's spring for you, and they are coming to your home right now, then go ahead and get something as simple as this set up. So all the other birds will come use it too, and then the hummingbirds will use it as well. So I hope I've given you some ideas, and let's get this set up, and let's see right now who's gonna come, and I'll get some more rocks, and we'll see what birds are gonna come take a bath in a simple, little cheap bowl with some free rocks and my solar fountain kit. So though many birds are starting to come and it was just set up a day or two ago, I already have house finches coming in and there's been scrub jays and different things. And soon I'm confident that the hummingbirds, they will, let's put it this way, they may go in, but they've got tons of fountains here I make that they love. When you have one, it's easier to get them to use it. But that's the whole idea. They see the other birds, they know it's safe, and that's when they'll come in and take a bath. House finches are always the first. They are just always looking for water. So with that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And put some water out for the birds. All the birds, they deserve water too.